Hello everyone and welcome back to Brian's Business World. Today we're going to talk about uh, an ancient debate in the business world. And that debate is, are systems and processes more important than people? Or are people more important than systems and process? Now again, with so many things, usually the answer is not binary, A or B. It is A and B, not A or B. So most successful organizations and most successful entrepreneurs and business people would agree that it's both people and systems and process uh, that make for the successful organization. But let's dig into this a little bit. Um, I think on one hand you have what I'm going to call, um, and I have a lot of admiration for McDonald's, so I'm not, I'm not trying to bash McDonald's here or other fast food establishments. I would say you have a business like that that's very uh, systematized, um, in can you know the, the the workers can be easily swapped out almost immediately um, so it's very 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 systems driven um, not as much people driven um, I'm not saying that McDonald's doesn't care for its employees but it is clearly a highly systematized uh, process that's there uh, airlines also again not bashing the airlines but also for safety reasons they have to be highly systematized and again people can be swapped out uh, that is you know the I thinking being you know uh, that if all the process and systems are followed, uh, an appropriately qualified uh, non-superstar person can safely pilot the plane or do the other functions um, with the airlines. On the other side, you've got what I would say where, star where you have such companies as Starbucks, uh, who has probably emphasized people more over systems and process, although they are, uh, have definitely um, learned a lot. Starbucks has definitely learned a lot, no question, from McDonald's, uh, systematized thinking, but they seem to value employee benefits. They certainly pay the highest, among the highest, in the food service area. Now, uh, you have another other couple companies that are out there. Uh, video and media production. In Hollywood, television, music, it's entirely driven, or maybe not entirely, but largely driven by personalities and um, stars and sometimes superstars. There is no real system or process that you can put in place to find the next Marilyn Monroe or the next Cary Grant uh, or next Taylor Swift. Uh, executives, music executives, entertainment executives uh, and entrepreneurs have tried that for a very long time and there's really no systematized uh, approach that you can do that. So in that industry, you that that sort of group would probably recommend the extreme side of what I call the people side, okay? And then on the other side, McDonald's and maybe perhaps the airlines, you would have represent the systems or process side. So who's right with this? I mean, it, are systems and process a superior way to run a business and that's where your emphasis should be? Or should you be uh, on the people side? Or are both arguments equally correct? Uh, now, I think what it's gonna come down to the quote-unquote correct answer or best answer is going to come down to what type of field or industry you're in. In the entertainment sphere, artist sphere, clearly you're, it's going to have to be more of a focus on finding the people. That's just going to be how, the, how it goes. So if you're in media, uh, you're in music, movies, television production. Again, the amount of systems or process you put in will not really A, find those, those highly talented individuals and will not groom new ones. Okay? Now, if you're in a highly, you know, sort of systematized, rather, if you're in a um, very, again, I hate, to, I hate to call it generic, but if you're in a very, in a business that requires a lot of similar tasks, um, repetitive tasks, then you're going to require uh, a number of very replaceable, easily trainable, easily facilitated uh, systems with that. So now I think the problem is when those fields, those industries like the airlines or McDonald's, that type of business, they lose sight of the fact that grooming people, not just the process, can still lead to substantially better performance. I mean the happy employee uh, who follows the procedure or maybe doesn't follow it and satisfies the customer uh, is always going to carry the day. So where as an entrepreneur should you come down on it? So first, you know, you've got to take an honest assessment uh, of your business and look at what your needs are. 
But I would say that really the answer is both A and B here. You have to look at process, you've got to look at systems in every possible way, and then also being, and at the same time, looking at the personality. Uh, in my experience as an entrepreneur, the most talented people, the stars or the A-level, the quote-unquote A-level people, thrive the best within an environment that had good process and good systems. I have also conversely seen, uh, not in my businesses, but in others, where great people did not have process and systems, and it was a complete disaster. They could not uh, get anything done, they were frustrated endlessly, and the best people left. So I think you really have to look at both, and I'm going to encourage most entrepreneurs to equally weight A and B, or equally weight systems and process and personnel. Because, again, aside from maybe some of the media companies and, and uh, artistic productions, you're going to need systems and process to enhance and enable the most talented players. Now, we have had another show where we had discussed um, how there's too much emphasis on uh, the A-level, the superstar, all of that. I still wholeheartedly agree with that. But even in my experience, a lot of very high-level players still need and, in fact, want structure, process, systems. It, it is an enablement of their talent. It allows the talent to come out. So my takeaway here for the entrepreneurs is you should think about process, discipline, the discipline of your businesses as being enablers and supports of the raw talent that you are recruiting into your business. So you are, you are sort of growing and blossoming that talent by providing structure, systems, process. If you view it that way, that the systems and process are not against the talent. It's not, it's, not, it's not a war here. It's not conflict. They are part of bringing the talent out and bringing the talent to the forefront. So hopefully you got, that was some little bit of different thinking for you on how to view, again, this ancient debate between systems and process and people. It's not, it's not a debate, really, and it's not a conflict. So if you can take that away from today's uh, video, that would be great. The systems and the process done correctly should should enhance and develop the natural talents of your employees. I hope you've enjoyed our podcast today, or not our podca podcast, but our videocast, and I uh, look forward to hearing from you soon. Again, please uh, drop some comments to us, send us a video, and if you like uh, our, our channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you.